Alright, this is just a demo of a couple of DTMF chips that I use. On the breadboard here we've got a Holtec 9200B generator, a Holtec 9170B DTMF receiver, and a PIC16F84A that I've just programmed to be a um, seven segment decoder. Up here I've got the keypad interface which will just give me a binary number out when I press the key on the keypad. Um, these two DTMF circuits uh, can be found in their data sheets. They're just the typical um, basic circuits and I've just wired them up and uh, connected them together. So what happens is when I press a key up here we've got the four bits of data Oh, also got an active low line or a chip enable. Um, when I press a key it's actually going low and when I release it's high so it's in the inverted output on the on the PCB so it's opposite to what the LED shows here. So this line goes into the active low which is pin 1 on the DTMF generator and our data lines go straight into the data inputs here we have the DTMF out of the generator which goes to the speaker and to the receiver. This LED here is data valid so it goes high when it recognizes a tone on the DTMF line and these LEDs here will show the equivalent binary number. Then they go into the DTMF uh, decoder which displays the digit. On the um, PCB, it might actually be a bit hard to see, but the LEDs show 1010. They go into the generator, outputs the tone into the receiver, and it's decoded that to 1010. Um, this circuit and the schematics can be found on my website. Just check out the more info on to the right of the screen to, for the website. And uh, this keypad interface can also be found on there. Um, this circuit can be interfaced to a phone line and you can use it to call your phone. And the receiver can also be uh, used to receive tones so you can call it and remotely control things. These are the chips that are used in my alarm system telephone dialer and uh, that's just the basics.